Hey everybody, it's Tom from The Successful Customer, and it's time for the pilot of Customer Success in 3 Minutes. Today we're going to talk about Customer Lifetime Value, or LTV. Now we're not going to talk about the formulas or the math. Instead, we're going to talk about LTV and its role in the evolution of customer success as we know it today. So from a historical perspective, we're going to go back to the spring of 2005 at an executive offsite for a uh, little company called Salesforce.com. If you think about it, 2005 is a year after their IPO. I'm guessing everybody at this offsite is having a pretty good time. Um, that's at least until this guy, uh, David Dempsey, uh, soon to be known as David Doomsday Dempsey, walks into the room and announces churn is at 8%, and that's 8% per month. So if you do the math, Salesforce is going to lose 63% of its customers over the next year. So this was obviously a huge deal, big enough that uh, there was an article written by uh, Dan something, you can reach out to me for a link. Anyway, um, it was entitled churn, the one word that saved Salesforce from certain doom. Uh, obviously, this was a huge problem. It was the reason they formed the Customers for Life program to address making customers successful to keep them from all bailing. Yeah, um, disaster was avoided, but there was also a huge upside, which is what we're going to talk about next. So we all get um, that as churn goes down, LTV goes up. What's important to recognize as well as when LTV goes up, it allows you to drive your customer acquisition cost up. Um, what we're looking at here for Salesforce is their CAC ratio, or basically how much they spend for a buck of new ARR. As you might guess after the big announcement, uh, this number didn't go up much. But in 2007, when churn was under control, it skyrocketed to like over two and a half bucks. Yeah, it went down a little bit, but this number is still almost $2 for a dollar of new ARR. Um, bring up the question, does a high LTV mean you should just spend a bunch of money to acquire new customers? Um, and for Salesforce, uh, we can look at the answer by looking at their stock price or their market cap, which pretty much went exponential with the exception of the dip for the financial crisis over the same period of time, uh, making a bunch of people um, rich and famous. So what's the important lesson here in three minutes? Um, customer success is insanely important to the evolution of great companies like Salesforce.com. Anyway, I uh, hope you really enjoyed this and learned something from it. Uh, if you need to learn more, go to thesuccessfulcustomer.com or reach out to me directly at tom at thesuccessfulcustomer.com. I uh, look forward to having you join us for the next Customer Success in 3 Minutes. Until then, enjoy.